Senator Dianne Feinstein has been one of the greatest champions of gun control in the U.S. Senate. She also calls herself a Democrat. And in a democracy, you see, the way it works is the majority gets to vote on who represents them in government. And they get to then have the majority rule. You see, majority decides it's bad for minorities. But this is democracy, you see. And then if people don't like what their officials in government are doing, they get to vote them out of office. Like, that, when, when democracy is, is doing well as a, as a flawed immoral system, uh, you know, doing well for the people relative to how it could be doing badly for the people, that's how democracy works. Dianne Feinstein seems to be against this idea all of a sudden. It's really strange. The National Rifle Association and gun manufacturers are to blame for the disconnect between the broad public support for gun control and the reluctance in Congress to ban assault weapons and high-capacity ammunition magazines, U.S. Senator Dianne Feinstein said Wednesday. And screw you, AP, for using this crap newspeak to separate the source from the headline. Like, we're just going to, we're going to put out a sentence like it's fact. I mean, if you just stop the sentence that U.S., you know, ammunition magazines, U.S. Senator Dianne Feinstein said Wednesday, it comes across as this is being supported as, as fact. The National Rifle Association gun manufacturers are to blame for the disconnect between the broad public support for gun control and the reluctance of Congress to pass, to ban assault weapons and high capacity ammunition magazines. Geez, it couldn't be that there are like um, people, you know, uh, lots of people uh, to the point that you might call it broad public support for gun ownership, broad public support behind the NRA. Although if you're really in support of gun rights, not pandering to the Republican party and being a tool of them, then you're, you're going to be supporting the gun owners of America, not the NRA. Speaking to a hometown audience of about 500 people in San Francisco, the California Democrats said the NRA has intimidated senators with threats that the gun lobby would spend heavily to unseat them if they support the restrictions Feinstein championed in response to the December massacre at an elementary school in Newtown, Connecticut. As she said, a fear has set in that if they vote for the bill, they won't be reelected. It's that plain. It's that simple. My view is they shouldn't go up to the Senate if they are unwilling to stand up and vote. So if you're not willing to subvert the will of the people that might unelect you, you, you shouldn't run for the Senate. Now here, she might be revealing a truth she did not intend to. And what you could take this as her saying is, if you're not willing to subvert the will of the people on behalf of government, you shouldn't be in politics. And in a sense, <laughs> yeah, it's very right. She did not mention any senators by name, but ticked off a long list of southern and western states from Montana and Wyoming to Tennessee and Florida where the threats would be most successful. Hmm. You mean the NRA is rallying public support for something? Where there's public support for something? Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid said last month stripped the assault weapons and ammunition bans from the gun control legislation that Democrats plan to bring to the Senate floor. Reid said he was worried those provisions would doom any reforms. And, and this was the big loss for Feinstein, who said that she would press for a chance to speak on the floor to make the case for uh, that, that. And here's <laughs> that while military style weapons are involved in a small percentage of gun deaths. The massacres and damage to individual bodies they can inflict are antithetical to our values. And I suppose your values, Diane Feinstein, include forcing your values on other people. Because no one is for gun control. Literally, no one is for gun control. When you say you're for gun control, what you're really for is the government using guns to control people. How are you going to take my guns? How are, how are you actually going to come and take them? You're going to send men with guns to either come and lock me away or to confiscate them. But what's really shocking here, the real surprise is, is that Feinstein is saying that she doesn't believe in democracy, that she thinks that this, that the NRA actually using the democratic system, the process of saying that you're going to be held accountable for your votes. NRA spokesman Andrew Arulanandam rejected Feinstein's account of why her colleagues are not embracing her proposals. 
In spite of what Senator Feinstein is trying to spin to try and put the blame on the NRA, the real reason that there is lack of support for these bans is because we had a 10-year period where these bans were the law of the land. And during that 10-year period, numerous studies were conducted that found these bans were ineffective at reducing crime. <sighs> and what Feinstein said, supposedly in response to that, it had begun to do what we wanted it to do, which is to drive down the number of these guns over time. The NRA has their statistics, I have mine. You may be entitled to your own opinions, but you are not entitled to your own facts, Senator Feinstein. And to hear you come out in opposition to democracy is truly shocking. But the idiocy of Democrats really knows no bounds. And what we heard recently from Colorado makes Senator Dianne Feinstein sound like a freaking Rhodes Scholar when it comes to making the case against guns. Because, you know, she's owned a gun. She's come out and she said it. Check this out. And then they call these arbitrary lines drawn on maps borders. Patriotism is a form of collectivism.